Federation shuttle Tereshkova. I am under attack in the Hoba system, requesting emergency assistance. I'm under attack by Romulan vessels. I could use a little help here. I'm a decent pilot, but things are getting a little rough. This freighter's pa- Thanks for the assistance. I was checking out some strange readings and discovered this errant freighter. I hailed them and they opened fire. It's a good thing you picked up my distress signal. I don't know yet. Based on these ship's identification codes, these aren't Tal Shiar vessels. Just elements of the old Romulan Star Navy. They're no friends of the intelligence agencies, but also not allies of the Republic. Last true sons of the Empire, that sort of thing. No, I think it's a Q ship. A specially modified freighter carrying weapons instead of cargo. Ships like these are sometimes used in convoys in danger of attack. Gives them some teeth without looking suspicious. And the intelligence agencies love them for missions where a starship would attract too much attention. Who's gonna give a second look to a beat up old freighter? This is Lieutenant Gaia Salong. This vessel has been disabled. Your interference is disruptive, but survivable. This unit is executing its priority directives. All other directives have been suspended. This unit was defending this vessel against outside attack. Defensive associates is required by priority override. I surrender. Well, no. I do still have crucial information about your poor friend, Lieutenant Ceylon, and how to fix his addled Borg brain. About the gateways and how to use them. About the Iconians. Now tell me, aren't those things more important than the fleeting pleasure you'll get from shooting me? But you are interested in what I can tell you. This gateway is damaged beyond repair, but I learned a thing or two when I was a guest of the Iconians. I know how to operate their gateways, and I've memorized several sets of coordinates. I know about places you haven't seen yet. In fact, the only reason I was here was to open a gate to a specific Iconian not exactly. Do you really think there are only two Dyson Spheres? <laughs> there are more, and I know the location of the one the Iconians are still using. Wouldn't you like to see that? The Romulan Republic has just notified us that Sela has escaped from their custody. Since your ship was last known to be near Romulan space, I am tasking you to keep a watchful eye for that treacherous green blood. Your communications officer tells me you are not aboard your ship. What is going on? No, please. Sela was last reported in the Devron Sector. Apparently she has amassed a small group of loyal Imperial forces, including Lieutenant Gaia Sela, formerly Intelligent Officer of the Lisette. With these assets, it is likely that she has ships and strategic information at her command. Hmm, I have a notion. Let us loosen the leash. See where Sela goes. Find out what she has planned. Discover how extensive her network of supporters truly is. You have bested her in battle. Now it is time to best her in Klinzar. Well, well, well. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, isn't that the same? I'll make you a deal. You want Gaius back? And you want to learn what I know? I'm willing to give you both. But first, we'll need to discuss the deal aboard my ship. Don't worry. I'm sure your crew will keep a transporter lock and whisk you away at the first sign of danger. Enjoy having the upper hand for as long as it lasts. 
It makes no difference to me. If you don't like my terms, I'll simply order Gaius to self-destruct the ship. He's very compliant, once you know which buttons to press. But if you want your Borg puppet back, you need to come and get him. Besides, what are you going to do? Put me in the brig? I've escaped too many prisons. You know you can't hold me for long. I suppose we don't have much choice. Whenever you're ready, we can beam up to seal a ship. But I'll go with you and watch you see the sea. I know you're not inclined to believe me, but I am telling the truth. I do have coordinates to a sphere the Iconians are still using. The Iconians have many servants. Some, like the Alachi, you have already seen. I watched how they opened the gateways and memorized the coordinates. The Iconians are moving their soldiers and ships into position. One day, soon, they'll be right on our doorstep. This is our one chance to find out what the Iconians are doing and when they're going to attack. And they won't wait for our ships to be in position or give us time to muster a defense. One day, one day very soon, the Iconians will simply appear at our homeworlds. And we will have to fight to survive. Poor Gaius. All that Borg hardware in his head made it easy to give him some guidance. I've had quite a bit of time to learn about Borg technology. All you need to know is which switches to flip. It's been very helpful having someone on the inside. I would have never escaped without him. But as a gesture of goodwill, I'll give him back now. There probably won't be any permanent damage. The Tal Shiar has studied mind control for decades, and I had full access to their techniques. Some of it is quite ingenious. Do you know that the proper sequence of mental conditioning and image projection can program someone to kill their best friend? I've seen it work. Once you know how to get into someone's head, you're there forever. With the coordinates I've memorized, I can gain access to an Iconian staging sphere. Tapping into the Iconian data networks is risky, but the potential benefits are significant. It will be difficult. Iconian operating systems are designed to overwrite and destroy other computers. However, I know enough about their devices to gain some useful information before that happens. Specifically, we need to determine what forces the Iconians will use against us. We must prepare for what's coming. My engineers report that they're having trouble keeping engine power stable. It appears you did quite a bit of damage to my ship. Unrelated systems keep failing in no discernible pattern. Perhaps you can take some of your people down to the engine room and have a look? Keep in mind that the sooner we get underway, the sooner this is all over. This freighter was armed by loyal Romulan Imperial officers and citizens who realized that a lone freighter would be easy prey for any space pirate. In addition, the Romulan Navy offered protection to this ship with some of the few warbirds remaining in their fleet, some of which you destroyed. These people follow me because they believe in the rebirth of the Romulan Empire. A proud empire that can hold its head high and be a force to be reckoned with among the stars. They follow me because I can lead them there. Many Romulans died for the hope of a new future. I won't let their sacrifices be in vain. Whatever the fate of the Romulan people, I am determined to ensure that our legacy is never extinguished from this galaxy. I regret every death of every loyal Romulan. But I will honor their loss by fighting for those who still survive. We share common interest. We have a galaxy to protect. This unit is in diagnostic mode. 
This unit is responding to its neural overrides. Please, help me. I recognize you. You have to help me. I'm a rocket intelligence operative on team cover. I infiltrated this crew of rocket officers because they were still loyal to Sila. We can recapture her if we can keep this ship disabled. Republic intelligence has agents seeded through many of the groups in the Old Guard, and even a few infiltrating the Tal Shiar. It was happenstance that I was embedded in a group that helped Sela escape the prison. What I need now is to keep this ship stalled long enough for the Republic to arrive. Then we can take Sela back to prison where she belongs. Sela's using you. She'll never tell you anything of substance. If she was the Iconian's prisoner, she couldn't have seen anything important. If she's still working with them, then she's leading you into a trap. Your only chance is to capture her now, and help us reveal anyone in the Republic who helped her escape. I understand you've captured a saboteur. I won't tolerate a threat to the safety of this mission and my crew. I intend to have him executed immediately. Very well. However, this still doesn't solve our problem. We need to find a working Iconian gate. The Nopata system? Interesting. My ship has been modified to mask its energy signature, so we should be able to get there without detection. The Tal Shiar may be a problem, though. The Tal Shiar serves the Iconians now. Certain elements of the Imperial Navy are still loyal, but the Tal Shiar would be more inclined to shoot me than listen to me. Those are Tal Shiar ships. The Star Navy doesn't have the interest or the means to police far-flung systems like this one. The Tal Shiar and I don't exactly see eye to eye these days, so feel free to do what you will. Enemy vessel. This system is under Tal Shiar control. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. Hakiv's private research facility. Soon all this will be lost to the sand. What a monument of folly. The Tal Shiar commonly use a diverter to intercept standard access codes on electronic locks. Give me just a moment. There. You really should learn some of these things. Allow me. Computer, recognize identity Sela. Code Empress 1. Unlock lab access. Always have a back door. Another secret door. Hakiv was always so melodramatic. You're getting a little too close to the truth. It's time to eliminate you both. There's a gateway on this side. We won't be stuck here. Now, let's see what secrets we can wrest from this facility. <gasps> you! Taurus. Stop her! Taurus must have overloaded the perimeters in that plasma. 
to turn this room from a plasma allocation conduit into a death trap. Who even builds rooms like this into a structure anyway? There are control consoles across from the containment area. If you can get to them, you can probably shut down the system. Without my help, you won't be able to get the gateway open to return home once we're done. You need me alive. There's nowhere left to run, Taurus. Do you really think the Iconians will help you now? No, you don't understand. I didn't seek them out because I wanted to rule. I needed them to save us, to turn back time, to undo Hobus, and bring back Romulus. Then you're more of a fool than I thought. You poor deluded creature. The Iconians aren't interested in saving anything. Nor could they. We have to get out of here. It's not safe anymore. They're coming. I guess you'd better go then. If you had only known Taurus... The Iconians can't travel through time. It destroys their minds. The sphere just jumped. Look, it's nighttime inside this sphere, but it's never dark inside the other spheres. The Iconian fleets are here, and there are so many ships they're blotting out the sun. I see you. Time to go. How absurd to think that she could have ever accomplished anything significant. She lost her throne and spent years in mindless devotion to gods who could not hear or answer her prayers. Taurus's fanaticism blinded her. She studied everything about the Iconians, but never learned the one simple fact that would have ended her quest. There was only one thing she didn't get wrong. We need to leave. Immediately. Iconian minds aren't like ours. They're entangled with chroniton states. I'll spare you the boring details. It helps to orient them when using their gateways, but it means that they can't go back and forth in time like we can. Doing so would cause the Iconian to lose its memories of the intervening time. Take a look at the sky. In a sphere like this, nothing should obscure the sun. Those aren't clouds. Did you feel that? The sphere just jumped. The Iconian invasion is beginning. You were warned. Your galaxy is forfeit. Gateway is destabilizing. I'll take care of this. Jump through now! 